Meanwhile, Brian, um, you've been talking about this for a while, and the Daily News today has it as the front and the back. Major League Baseball drug bombshell. A-Rod faces a 100-game ban. Look at that lab rat. Clinic founder looks to dish the dirt on A-Rod, and that's really the key because uh, A-Rod and up to, what, 20 different players could get 100-game bans? And the other big, huge name is Ryan Braun, and Ryan Braun is a guy who says, listen, I know my te I failed the test back uh, a couple of years ago in 2011, but I'm telling you, it's a bad test. I never took it. Well, it turns out his name, along with those others that Steve mentioned, and we'll try to uh, get you those names, are rumored to be on a soon-to-be banned list because this man uh, named Tony Bosch, who runs a biogenesis clinic, a wellness clinic down south, which is uh, reportedly gives out PEDs to people, the so-called longevity clinic, many of which are high-level athletes. In the case of Alex Rodriguez, the allegation is not only did he buy this, the, these performance-enhancing drugs, but, uh, and, but Bosch actually injected him with it. Yeah. So if he comes and talks like he's rumored to be talking this week in a deal that's cut behind closed doors, he's going to name names and give proof, including receipts. And once again, these guys are going to be in trouble, and the main story in baseball will not be the game, but will be those who are trying to cheat the game. Absolutely. Well, the interesting thing is the 100-game ban is for a second offense. So not all of these players would necessarily face that 100-game, but Alex Rodriguez would because, as you remember, he admitted to using steroids a couple of years ago. Uh, the other interesting thing is that Tony Bosch, the founder of this now shuttered uh, Biogenesis of America clinic, he's not going to necessarily mitigate any criminal exposure here. I mean, it's not a, a full done deal that he's not going to face any criminal charges just because he rats out everyone else. But apparently there's some sort of a deal in the works. It could be huge. Listen, Major League ba Baseball, this is very important that they try to root out all of this illegal activity because yeah. it just doesn't help. It just does not help the game. And by the way, uh, how many players actually have never used any of these substances? There's going to be a real short list who ends up someday in the Hall of Fame. But Fans. a Casa Paulo over all of them. So A-Rod's one of them. Uh, Melky Cabrera is suggested. Also, uh, Ryan Braun of the Brewers and a bunch of others, up to maybe 20. Yeah, up to maybe 20. You can see those names. And uh, here's the thing, too. If you... By, by the way, baseball seems to be the only league that's trying to straighten out its house. You're going to tell me basketball's not dirty, football's not dirty? Absolutely not. But right now, in baseball in particular, they are nothing without their legacy and their records and their history. And you could throw out two generations of players because for now on, the fan looking at all different ages will say, yeah, he was good, but what was he using? Yeah, sure. they were good, but what did they get caught doing? And by the way, his name turned up on it, so he was guilty, but I'm sure the other guys just used different times of the tests and they were able to escape. Now the question is, as these names pop up and the proof comes forward, will Major League Baseball Players Union say, hold it, that's not fair to the people I represent, let's look into this. Will guys like A-Rod use the, all their $252 million to fight back against this and further sully the game and its integrity? Well, one thing's for sure, the Players Union is one of the strongest unions in the world, so they will no doubt fight back. In the meantime, and we've got to bring you up to date for